What's up everybody? It's Mark again. Welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. I am getting ready right now to go on my rut vacation. I'm going to be doing uh, almost two weeks of hunting nonstop. First, I'm loading up and heading to Tennessee. There I'm going to be hunting for six days and then I'm going to be going right back down to Florida to hunt in the Panhandle on St. Vincent Island for Sandbar. So join me for the ride. Hopefully there's going to be some action in the next couple of weeks. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. <laughs> you shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. I just got to uh, Tennessee. I'm a little west of Nashville on my buddy's property. And there's a couple reasons why I'm here. First of all, I'm here to hunt for the next six days. But the second reason is to pick up this tiny house. This is my buddy's tiny house and uh, he was trying to sell it. And me and Patricia happened to be in the market for one. So we came up here to get it. And I'm gonna be staying in this thing for the next six days. Check this place out. It's pretty cool, pretty simple. It's gonna get a little bit of renovations when I uh, get it back home. But um, just in case you guys are wondering, this place is gonna be available to rent through Airbnb uh, so that you can uh, have a, a nice place to stay in when you're going on your hunting trips to places like JW Corbett, Hungry Land, Dupuy, you know, everything in that general area. So, as much as I would love to uh, run straight out to the public land, <clears throat> I know that I'm probably not going to spend a lot of time here on this property during the day. Because um, once I go out to the public land, I'm probably just going to stay there. So, I really want to get these cameras out now. Because if I wait, chances are they'll never get out. So, I'm going to load up my gun right now. So I just kicked a deer out of this little, I don't even know what you call it, this little head of trees. I just went that way. I wouldn't have been able to shoot at it anyway. The road is right back there. But um, it's a good sign. I'm gonna look around and see if there's any buck sign around. All right, right as I kicked up the deer here, I came up on this uh, scrape right here that's pretty fresh. I just put some urine in it and freshened it up. Deer didn't go far. I saw him walking off over there. I didn't feel comfortable taking a shot because I don't really know what's behind it. Uh, Today is my first day going out on the public land. Yesterday I kind of messed around around the property that I'm staying on. I could have shot a buck yesterday, but it, there was people on the property and I really wasn't sure which direction I was pointing when I was looking at them and I just didn't feel comfortable taking the shot. But anyway, what I'm doing today, I've got my paddle board with me. It's uh, this super sweet inflatable boat paddle board. It's called the Aero Rackham. You can actually watch, like I did a review on it. Um, I'll put a link up, up there. This thing's super sweet and this is exactly what I got it for. Out of state trips where I don't want to take a boat with me because, you know, trailering just costs extra gas. You know, I can fold it up stick it in the bed of my truck and then inflate it when I get here. It's a super stable um, setup and it's got a pedal drive so I can move pretty quickly. And um, this particular WMA is right on a river and there's islands um, and peninsulas. So you can only access them by boat. Um, so that's the goal today. I'm gonna paddle across this river 
Um, and uh, there's a really cool peninsula on the other side here. The wind is set up perfectly for me to come in on one side and just work my way down the ridge uh, slowly. Find a buck that wants to play the game. sitting here for about 45 minutes um it's starting to get cold so i'm gonna keep moving but against my better judgment i'm gonna walk down this ravine and see if i can get to the edge of the swamp and then see if i can work my way back to the boat that way just so i'm covering something different I guess it's good to know that this river has some sort of tidal situation. It's a good thing my boat doesn't weigh much. It's a nice overcast day. <coughs> so, it's starting to build a teeny tiny little chop, but nothing this paddleboard can't handle. So I'm gonna cross the river. So it's just up there. It's just paddling down the river. Suddenly noticed something that looked like a deer. And I think we got a dead buck right here. Looks pretty fresh. I think it's probably somebody um, shot it, couldn't find it. We'll go take pictures of it, put it on the local hunting Facebook group, see if anybody is looking for it. Turns out that deer was not dead. Somebody had shot it, broke its leg, and it was in really bad shape. I don't know how long it's been laying there, but I'm not gonna let an animal suffer. What's up, boys? So get this shit. It's a good buck. Um, yeah, it's a good buck. Here, check it out. So, so here's what happened. I, I have it. I have it on video. Not great video, but I have it on video. I got down off the peninsula. I was like, I'm gonna go down to this other spot on the other side of the river. Go hunt that. So I'm cruising along, and I'm like, oh shit, there's a deer laying on the bank of the river. So, 
problem with this deer is there, this wound that it has is rotten. It's got maggots in it. it. Smells super bad. And judging by the fact that it wasn't a lethal hit, like it was just a leg shot and the shape that that buck was in. I mean, it's bone was shattered into pieces and um, literally one of its piece of its bone is laying over there. But I don't, I just don't know now if the rest of the meat is is salvageable okay all right so i got a question i'm in tennessee and i just shot a buck a real nice buck uh only thing is it was wounded and it was like in really bad shape when i shot it um i found it laying on a river bank the wound has like maggots in it and it's like stinky can I still salvage meat from the rest of the deer if I cut around yep. that infection or is that infection going to like pass through the whole deer? Yep. No. Um, maggots are actually a good sign. There's lots of evidence and plenty of stories of humans actually using maggots. Well, yeah, I know it, it eats the take care of damage. It, it's yeah. going to eat out that rotten meat and the body is designed to isolate an infection. Yeah. That's what I figured, and so... Nature has its way of taking care of that. Well... Um, I wouldn't stress it a bit. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to take him home and skin him out and just cut around the infection and salvage yep. the rest of the meat. So, I thought he was dead when I pulled up. Like, I gotcha. like I saw him and I saw the antler. I was like, oh, shit, that's a nice buck. Like, somebody must have shot it and lost it, you know? So, I was going to go take pictures of it and post it on a Facebook group, you know? And so, I start paddling over to it and... I get like I'm just like looking at it I'm like man it's head's like tilted backwards you know I was like it's a really odd position for it to die in if it was laying down like you'd expect it to just be laying flat you know yeah and uh so as I started getting closer I just kind of I was like hey deer and it like picked its head up you know and was like like I was like oh f I was like, oh, but it was like, it picked its head up and then it put its head right back down again. Like it, it was so, it was so weak. Like it couldn't do anything, you know? I reached behind me and I grabbed my gun and the wind's like blowing me towards it. And I'm trying to, I'm like thinking, I'm like, what cameras do I need to turn on? Where's my GoPro? You know, like, and it, the wind's just blowing me straight to it. So I was like, all right, I got my Tacticam on the gun. Like I turned it on. He's at this point, he's like looking straight at me, you know, but I'm like, he's going to jump up and run. So I just put it on him and drilled him right in the heart. So, this is how it's done, guys. Big buck in tow. Man, this paddleboard is so sweet. I don't understand why more people don't use it. Like, it's carrying this buck in the back like nothing. No problem at all. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, like I said, it's really not the way that I want to kill a buck. I can salvage meat and I get a cool rack for one, so I'm happy. Hey dear, are you dead? Are you dead? Yeah, he's dead. Holy crap. I can't believe it right now. That thing is huge. <laughs>